it's Alex. In this video I'm going to show you how to go from looking dead to looking alive and I don't really have anything more to say so let's just jump into the video. Okay starting off looking dead as hell I'm going to use the 3 second starter collagen from Holika Holika and I'm just using that all over my face. Then I'm using my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and this I'm going to put all over my face but I'm going to avoid putting it on my eyebrows and eyelids. Then I'm just putting on some Vaseline because my lips are very dry and chapped. Then I'm just going to grab my NYX Precision Brow Pencil and spin it around and look all confused. For some reason my, cam <laughs> my camera didn't want to pick, pick that up. But anyway, it's in the color Charcoal. And I'm just brushing my brows out and then I'm filling them in. I forgot to show this product but I'm just using my eyebrow gel from Suava called Graphic Brow Fix and it's the color Bistre. And now I'm just cleaning up my mess. I did not show this product either for some reason and I have no idea why uh, but it's an eyeshadow from makeup store called vanilla but you can just use any skin colored uh, eyeshadow Then I'm picking up a very small eyeliner brush and I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow. And I'm just doing a line right above my crease that we're going to blend later.
Then I'm just also going in with the MAC Charcoal Brown. And let me tell you, this color is such a great color for giving, sh for uh, creating shadow and definition. And then I'm just blending that out and as you can see I'm like really going in there which is a good thing because I feel like that really blends it seamlessly. Then I'm taking that eyebrow pencil from NYX that I, that I used before and I'm just outlining the crease again and this eyebrow pencil is actually perfect for that. It gives that extra definition but it's also not very sharp. Then I'm just blending that liner but very carefully because I don't want to blend it too much and I'm doing that with a smudging brush. Then I'm using my Sephora liquid eyeliner but a little bit later on I kind of realized that I have ran out of it so I have to buy a new one so I switched over to my Stila gel eyeliner instead
Then I'm using the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in the color How Many Carrots. And I'm just putting this on my eyelids. And this color is so pretty because it's literally like diamonds. It doesn't reflect in like any specific color. It doesn't reflect in gold or silver. It literally reflects in, uh, yeah, like a diamond or like water reflection. My eyelids are uneven so I put on some eyelid tape on my right eye off camera but then here is where it becomes a little chaotic uh, I accidentally filmed me doing my under eye off camera too but I used a brown eyeliner and I just tight lined the waterline and also smudged it out a little bit with um, a brush then I am just curling my lashes and also putting mascara on both top and bottom lashes. I've put on concealer off camera and now I'm just going to use the Eyler Most Wanted lashes and I put glue on them and then I just let them sit for a little while and meanwhile I just bronzed my face up a little bit with my Isadora bronzer. Then using that same MAC eyeshadow as before, I'm also going to contour my nose and I went in with too much product there as you can see. And this is honestly my favorite contour shade, but it is almost a little bit too cold, so I also go in with some bronzer. And then I'm just finally putting on the eyelashes that are now sticky.
continuing my nose contour and putting some instant anti-age eraser concealer from Maybelline on the sides of my nose and also a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I'm just locking that in by putting some powder on it, highlighting my cheekbones with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in how many carats, the same one that we used on the eyelids. Then I'm just taking another highlighter, any highlighter is fine, just to highlight my nose, just because the Fenty one is too sparkly to put on the nose. Then I'm just lining my lips with Max Strip Down, and here's the finished result. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!